Okay, I want to impress upon you how absolutely critical it is for you to exercise while you're on the snake diet. I know that getting back into an exercise lifestyle is uh, it's demanding. You know, you have to rearrange things and you, and you have to be, you have to, the gym's got to be on your mind or your form of exercise, whether it be outside, uh, whether it be in your living room, it has to be on your mind all the time. It has to be a, a main focus of your day. But if you want to lose the weight five times as fast, at least five times as fast, and if you want to stay more focused and be in a great mood all the time, I'm telling you, exercise is the way to do it on the snake diet. It's the way to do it. You get your refeed together, you get your exercise program together, and you just go, and that's it. You, you, you know, you're not going to die. You're not going to go to jail, okay? It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. I, 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 I damn near guarantee it. It's going to be fine, all right? You'll be just fine. Now, I'm going to plant that seed and let it be, uh, for those who, who are who are still on the fence about it. But for those of you who aren't on the fence and you're ready to jump off, please get to a gym. Get a personal trainer. Start, you know, go to a gym that fits your personality. That's the great thing about gyms today, is that you've got Planet Fitness. For those who don't want to be around a bunch of muscle, around a mus bunch of muscle freaks, who cuss and swear and throw chalk all over the place and, and who are aggressively training. You don't have to have that. You can go to a Planet Fitness where everything's nice, calm, cool, and, and collected, right? You can go to a powerhouse gym to get you to meet your bodybuilders. You can go to a specific powerlifting gym. You can go to a CrossFit gym. You don't even have to go to a gym. You can go and buy a really great pair of running shoes and go start running, or you could go start walking. You could buy a kayak and go jump in your kayak, go drive somewhere twice a week and go get your kayaking in. You know, you could rock climb if, if you're into that or if you want to get into it. You can, you know, you could pick the exercise that you want to do. And sometimes if you're too overweight to do the exercise that you want to do, there's something that can prepare you for that. Okay? This is very, very simple. It's just do you want to put the time in to think about how to get it going? And that's what I want for everybody out there because um, I don't wish that anybody get a drunk driving ticket like I did years ago and have that be the thing that forces them into making a decision about how they want to take where they want to take their life. And and um, and yeah, I mean, I I got uh, I got pulled over on Thanksgiving morning. And I thought I was 100% fine, and I nearly was. But the police, they don't care about that. They're going to have to take you to jail, right? So uh, I got my probation terms, and that woke me up. You know? That woke me up. I said, well, uh, since i got to give up my, my beer, what am I going to do with myself? You see, I didn't even know what I was going to do with my time anymore. But, the, but it dawned on me fairly quickly. Get out and start walking again. I was thinking at that time, man, you were just too overweight at the time. I was 475 pounds. I wasn't too overweight. I was on the death's door. So, you know, I don't wish anybody get to that weight. If you're careening out of control or if you are, if you are grossly obese, like, like I was, can you imagine me 475 pounds? Then you've got to start. You've got to start exercising. There's no excuse. I didn't even know about the the snake diet um, when I got my drunk driving ticket. That was 2014. I didn't find out about the snake diet until 2017. But from 2014 to 2017, I started training. I started working out. I started powerlifting, and it prepared me for the snake diet. And it was and it was the answer to everything. I used to be able to put 500 pounds on my back. I can't put 500 pounds on my back and squat it anymore. But you know what? I could put close to 500 on there. <laughs> Being 230 pounds lighter. 
No, being 240 pounds lighter. You don't know how this can change your life. You have no idea. But you need to just stop sitting. St give up your silly Netflix. Give up your silly TV shows. Give up TV. Give up looking at a screen 24 hours a day. Even though, yeah, it's ironic, right? You're watching me on a screen. But be very, very selective about the time that you s sit watching a screen. Unless it's your job. TV shows can wait. Your health is not going to wait. It's going to deteriorate. Even the most fit, in shape people who never stop exercising have deteriorating health. Think about that. And then think about the situation that you're in. And if you're not doing any sort of exercise, you are just skyrocketing to a horrific end. And you know what? If, um, if, if through all this that I've accomplished, through all the success that I have, that I have, if if I have a heart attack or a stroke and die instantly, you know what? They're not going to be able to say when they come to my funeral, he just sat around and did nothing. He was working at it. That's what I want you guys to do. This is all about the exercise. You have to get after it. You have to get on it and do what you want to do. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, I'm begging you. It's going to put you in a good mood. It's going to help the days go by. It's going to help the stress. You know, you're going to have your little out, outlet. That's your time. Okay? The only thing in this world that you have nearly completely, complete control over is your physical fitness. Other than that, it's, it, everything else is, is in your life is subject to the behavior of others. So grab the one thing that you can grab hold of and have the most control over them and give it hell, okay? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share the videos, ask me any questions that you want in the comment section, and I'll get back to you when I can. And, um, and I always love uh, talking with, with everybody who, who decides to, uh, to leave a comment. Uh, if you look at any of my videos, you see I'm all up in my comment section because it's a lot of fun. It's really nice to hear a lot of people who are having success and uh, and to hear and to hear about you know uh, and hear what people are thinking out there and so all right guys love I love all you guys even you trolls out there get a life but anyway troll away if you have to I'll troll back with you it's all in good spirit it's all in good fun talk to you guys later bye.